Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Government to resume or auction miners to earn just 80 rupees a ton despite lower duty. Down from 3,500 rupees. Will companies and traders respond? A special report. Group of BJP MLAs planning outster of MGP's Daulikars pressure group to replace three ministers, including Mickey. BJP MLA special meet on Sunday. NCB's raid at House of History Sheeter Palikar Brothers exposes Goa police. Local drug lords recapture market. Understanding with Nigerian peddlers, prudent exclusive. Coach Zico wants Adriano to play for FC Goa. Former Brazil striker expresses delight at meeting idol Zico. And Sporting Club de Goa beat Kalyani Bharat FC to move out of bottom position of I League. Dempo SC suffer defeat at Shillong Lajong. Now the news in detail. Mines Department has decided to e-auction remaining extracted iron ore. Earlier government and had e-auctioned nearly 4 million tons of ore which ranged from 50 to 62 grade and it earned nearly 800 crores including royalty on export. With latest calculations post reduced export duty, mining companies can earn only 80 rupees a ton with ore prices down to 40 dollars. $41. The earning was almost 3,500 rupees a ton at the time of closure. Will the mining companies and traders now respond to the e-auction of iron ore? A special report. Central government has cut down export duty from 30% to 10% on ore up to 58 FE grade to facilitate go on low grade iron ore exports. Due to heavy export duty from last six months, mines department did not announce e-auctioning of iron ore as there was poor response from the traders. Now, the department has decided to go ahead with e-auctioning of remaining extracted iron ore. Earlier, government had auctioned nearly 4 million tons of extracted ore which was lying at various jetties and leases. The grade of ore ranged from 50 to 62 FE grade. Department has earned 670 crores through e-auctioning and 130 crores from the royalty on export. Environmentalist Ramesh Kao said, Mines and Geology Department has started inspection to verify the grade of remaining extracted iron ore, but he is apprehensive. Mind department inspection for the mine department is called Sadhu Vasalila Sat. Some department as to Indian Bureau of Mines as to Ministry of Environment and Forest, Dili Chasu, Sub Gode Baratake. Department is now expecting good response from mining companies and traders, but mining experts are not convinced with cutting down of export duty. As for the experts, it's not feasible for the mining companies to do business. Prices of iron ore so low despite export duty reduction. Now look at the earning per ton two and a half years back at the time when mining was suspended. In September 2012, freight on board charges were 95 to 100 dollar per ton. Rupee was valued at 55 against US dollar. Per ton, mining companies were earning 3,355 rupees on an average with just 10% export duty on royalty at 10%. Added to it, there was no district fund and Goa permanent fund. Now the value of $1 is equal to 63 rupees. Prices of low grade iron ore is $41. Even after cutting down on export duty to 10%, Royalty at 15% mining companies earn nearly 80 rupees. In such circumstances, it is very difficult for any mining company to export iron ore. 
ताजे वोर रॉयल्टी आता पंद्रह टक्के मिनरल डेवलपमेंट फंड पंद्रह टक्के आयो गोवा परमनंट फंड धा टक्के एक्सप्लोरेशन फंड दोन पर्सेंट आसा हजे वोर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन के जे कॉस्ट आसा ते वाड़े जैर आता ये एक्सपोर्ट ड्यूटी सुधा टेन पर्सेंट दौर कहीं दिशाना कि फिजेबल ज Meanwhile, Goa State Pollution Control Board will inspect nearly 60 mining leases seeking consent to operate under Water and Air Act. Pollution Board officials, team of scientists, legal advisers and environmental experts will start inspection from Monday. Team will submit its report before the board meeting which is likely to be held before 15 June. During inspection, the team will verify the environmental clearance validity lease agreement. surface mining plan precautions to control air and water pollution and transportation route team will also locate ambient air monitoring stations in and around mining lease so we will be inspecting the 61 mine all the mine together that whatever report inspection report will be placed before the technical advisory committee of the board which will then scrutinize this inspection report put up its own uh, point and that then we'll have to call a board because these are red category industries uh, we don't have the power to grant them and then the board will take a decision whether to grant not to grant and the reasons why to grant or not to grant but okay. then we will that will be taken up by the board all together but with the falling ore prices and lost market for low grade ore question still remains will the mining companies and traders respond to the e auction of iron ore and resumption of mining despite lower export duty reporter mahesh kadi with devendra gaonkar for prudent A pressure group from BJP is gearing up for MGP's ouster and induction of three new ministers from the party. Sources say a group of BJP MLAs is pressurizing and demanding exit of Sudin Dawlekar as PWD minister. If Dawlekar brothers quit the government, the move creates three ministerial berths for the BJP aspirants. BJP has convened MLA's special meeting on Sunday, 3rd of May, at an undisclosed location to decide the issue. Watch this report. Convicted and absconding MLA Miki Pacheco has been stripped off of his RDA ministry. Now there is a vacant ministerial berth in Parsekar cabinet. As per sources, a pressure group of BJP MLAs is conspiring Dhavrikar brothers' removal from cabinet and create three more new ministerial slots for themselves. Sudin Dhavrikar is gaining popularity as PWD minister in every other constituency. BJP pressure group claims that Sudin Dhavrikar has least concern for the coalition MLAs and ministers and he gives least preference to their constituencies regarding developmental works. Few of the distressed MLAs claim that Sudin has fixing with the independent MLAs. This isn't going down well with the upset BJP MLAs. On the other side, Deepak Dhavrikar critical jibes against BJP seems have no end during recent media interactions. BJP's pressure group MLAs demand Deepak Dhavrikar's scalp first. Few of them claim that MGP has ruined BJP's prospects during Jilla Panchayat poll. Removal of Dhavrikar brothers will pave a way for three BJP MLAs to be ministers. This is the calculation and logic the BJP pressure group proposes. All the BJP MLAs including the pressure group will meet on Sunday to decide over Sudin Dhavrikar's removal and coalition prospects with MGP but the venue of the meeting has not been disclosed BJP has not yet convened a single meeting on their ZP poll result even after one and a half month BJP passed the ZP poll verdict somehow even after mega alliance with MGP and GVP BJP karyakartas are amused as why party has still not conducted a single chintan baitak on the verdict though BJP's pressure group has put in all power against Dhavrikar brothers MGP sources says it's Manohar Parrikar who will decide the man who played a catalyst for BJP MGP merger Nitin Gadkari and Sangh leaders will be the final authority to decide over coalition issues Sudin Dhavrikar and portfolio withdrawal senior reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent Raid of Narcotics Control Bureau at the house of history sheeter Palikar Brothers has once again exposed Goa police. The raid reveals that the local drug lords have recaptured their market. But insiders say that local drug lords have redeveloped an understanding with the Nigerian peddlers, which was distressed after the Nigerian Oboro's murder. 
Local police, while denying any nexus of local and Nigerian drug lords, accept that local boys of Shapora are very well in the drugs business. A prudent exclusive. On 30th October 2013, when a group of Shapora boys led by Omkar Paliyakar allegedly brutally killed the Nigerian Obodo Uzama Simon, it had emerged that murder was committed to capture drugs market from Nigerian peddlers. But after rampage by Nigerians of Porvori Road, the situation turned ugly and many Nigerians were put behind bars. Goa police arrested Omkar Paliyakar and his associates in this murder case. This incident cost both Nigerian and local drug peddlers. Later, Omkar Palekar, his brother Runal Palekar and others arrested accused came out on bail. They became more powerful in the drugs market, but worked out an understanding with Nigerians. Goa police had claimed that they will keep eyes on Palekar gang, but fact is that Palekar brothers have never been booked for narcotics trade. It was intelligence of Narcotics Control Bureau which raided Palekar's house and arrested Runal with drugs. Anjuna police was called by NCB team to control Palekar's pet pit bull dogs. There are eight cases against both Omkar and Runal Palekar. For the first time, Palekar brothers have been booked for drugs trafficking and Omkar Palekar is once again on run. Anjuna police denies that Palekar brothers have any political backup. But police says Palekar brothers and other Shapora boys are in drugs business as many foreign tourists reside in Shapora and there is demand of drugs. According to insiders, Shapora boys have come up with an understanding with Nigerians that Nigerians will not sell drugs in their locality and local boys will not interfere in beach areas. This is a coincidence that on 30th April night when NCP raided Palekar's house, that night only Anjuna police caught a Nigerian with multiple drugs worth 35 lakhs. Anjuna police says there is no link between Palekar's and Nigerians' arrest. But fact is that drugs business of both locals and Nigerian paddlers is booming in the coastal areas. Mukesh Kumar with Omkar Falari for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.